I want to build a deep learning model to simply predict people's age from an image. To build my deep learning model, I need to first collect a vast number of images on which I can train my model. So I go on Google Images and type in celebrities and begin saving all the images that appear. This way, I can easily collect a large amount of data for training. However, there is a problem. To use these images to train my model, I have to label each image with the correct age. So I would, in theory, have to take each image at a time and begin manually building my training dataset. This is what I call my annotated data. But to label each image takes me time or I have to pay someone to do the labeling for me, which naturally costs money. Unfortunately, I have a limited budget, meaning I do not have the time or money to label all the images in my set of unannotated data. The question is, how do I choose which images to label to create my training dataset, i.e. which images would be most useful in training my deep learning model? This is exactly the problem that active learning seeks to solve. To phrase it more formally, deep learning requires a lot of data. Data collection is easy, but data labeling is hard. Hence, we use active learning methods to find the subset of data that gives us the best performance. To borrow the words of President Dwight Eisenhower, you want the best bang for your buck. So now let's visualize what active learning does. We can summarize the active learning approach through a simple iterative diagram. We label some subset of our unannotated data. We use this subset to train our model. Then we repeat the process with some other subset and keep going until our data budget is spent, i.e. we have no more time or money left to label any more data. This looks great, but we don't quite know how we actually select or we haven't specified how we select the next optimal subset of data to label. The selection of data is an open research question, and as you can imagine, there are a range of creative methods suggested by people out there. Before looking at any literature, I encourage you to think or comment with any ideas for subset selection. You never know, you could have the next best idea. So this is a short video for today. I hope some interest into the field of active learning has been sparked, and bye for now.